Fear creates a chemical response in the body. The adrenal gland releases adrenaline, and adrenaline is a hormone that makes you better able to deal with danger. It makes you ready to stand and face the challenge, or prepares your body to run like crazy from it. This is what's known as the fight or flight response. When you need to fight off danger or run from it, your muscles need an extra burst of energy. Your breathing rate increases to get more oxygen into your blood, and your heart rate and blood pressure increase to get more blood to your muscles. This provides more oxygen and more glucose to your muscles so that they can respire faster, providing more energy for muscle contractions. Adrenaline causes your liver to convert its glycogen stores to glucose and release that into the blood, making sure that your muscles have got that extra bit of fuel that they're gonna need. Some body parts aren't particularly useful in the fight or flight response. Adrenaline can make some of the blood vessels to these body parts constrict, which means the blood vessels get narrower. This diverts blood away from these parts and provides more blood for the muscles. Even your eyes are affected by adrenaline. Adrenaline makes your pupils dilate, which means they get wider, and this allows more light in which makes you better able to see the danger. We're evolved to fight off threats like wild animals. In this modern world, we might get stressed by things like job interviews and exams. And even though a fight or flight response probably won't help us in that situation, this automatic response is absolutely unavoidable. It's our body's way of trying to deal with any potential threats. When you're scared and alone in a creepy place, you start to notice all of the movements and sounds in your environment. This is a result of your body's heightened alertness as a consequence of adrenaline. You can start to notice every sound around you and assess them for potential threats. Even if you've got nothing to worry about.